Hi guys, welcome to another Star Wars Helmet review and today I'm going to be reviewing issue 10 which is the Emperor's Royal Guard as per usual, the magazine so yeah, you've got, you know, Star Wars Helmet Collection, some of the stuff from the movies Dia Castani, the company that makes it just give you a click, uh, quick little flick through the magazine it's chewy some stuff there Yep, some Clone Wars stuff there. Mm -hmm. Raw Guard there. This may just be me, but I think the Royal Guard here don't look particularly intimidating. I think they look really like menacing when there's just say two of them. Maybe three. But you know, when there's one, two, three, four, five, six. There's six there, and you know, there's loads here as well on the side, but they don't really look particularly scary. So there's that there. That's just me, I guess. I guess it's kind of like, going off topic with an example, but The Walking Dead, you know, if you see a bunch of walkers, it's, eh, walkers. But then there's that one scene, spoiler alert, when Glenn's like tied down in the chair and the walker comes at him. Yeah, that's much more scary than a herd. And then the next issue on the back, issue 11, which is the Tuscan Raider. I went a little bit off topic with The Walking Dead. Speaking of which, spoiler alert, Glenn cropped it. Anyways, moving on, here we have the helmet, which you can probably not already tell is different, I mean. I'll just bring in the one that came before it. There you go, you, you can see what the difference is. It's a longer display case. It bugs me, because I think if they would have just pushed it further down on the display stand, you know, you probably could have fit it in one of these and it would have looked better with the rest of the helmets. Because now you've just got one that just looks obtuse. And it doesn't want to come off the, there we go. That's off. Royal Guard just there, same basic black, you know, kind of flimsy plastic display stand. And it looks really nice, you know, it's uh, menacing red. Uh, I'm not really particularly fond of the join lines here, you can make out. It's uh, it just bugs me, you know, I'd rather it be like a tighter fit the helmet. Oh god, that makes it sound. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what I'm trying. What I mean is, I wish the lines were just, you know, more... Well, you know... I'm just digging the hole even bigger for, my, even bigger for myself, I'm just going to shut up. So yeah, it's pretty bland, you know, it's the basic red. Here's another example where the gaps are just... The camera can't pick this one up here, but you know, the gaps are pretty big. I'd rather it look a bit more kind of streamlined, but oh well, I guess. Yeah, that's that. I'd, I'd take it off, but there's... I might as well. There you go. Same deal, you know, with the rubber grip thing to hold the helmet down. This one's got a pretty decent bit of weight. It's also really hollow. I think it's just the rubber that gives it the weight. Here's a good angle, you can see where the lines are just, well not lines, gaps I should say, they're just, it's very gappy, I find this to be a common fault with these helmets, they just look like they should be glued down or something, but yeah, just make sure it's lined up nicely, yeah that'll do. And yeah, that's literally all I can say about this, I'm just going to put the acrylic cover back on and as per usual the one that came beforehand there you go he wants to focus in those ATAT pilots so yeah that's that the Royal Guard pretty good you know I was looking forward to this one in fact the day this one came out I remember because the day beforehand was so bad, like ridiculously bad with, you know, personal stuff going on. 
So yeah, I know the next day, you know, I could be saying, oh, at least the new helmet's coming out, something to look forward to. I also sold something, or not sold, but posted something that I'd sold a day before, or a couple of days, I don't know, on eBay. So that was pretty good there, made a little bit of money. And I also completed Uncharted 4 the day this came out for the very first time. If you haven't played the Uncharted series, I highly recommend it, especially if you do it in order, it just feels better. So yeah, just take it to the side, I just wanted to look at something quickly. I hope you enjoyed my review guys, take care.